stories this has been uh, this since the opening this has been if not my favorite restaurant in Cebu so and if you haven't tried it yet you're in luck because we're doing a giveaway today so watch the video uh, and get a chance to win uh, dinner for two uh, you'll get the mod experience so guys if you didn't know mod has only eight restaurants in the world so they only do, their policy is one per country. So no matter how cool or how big the country is, they only do one. So they have in Las Vegas, Vancouver, Seoul, all these big, all these big first world cities. And, but they also open in Cebu. So that means that Cebu has really gained uh, positive notoriety over the years and it's world class, internationally known. So it's very good for our city, it's very good for us and I'm very proud to be Cebuano to have Mott here. All right, so uh, before I take you inside the room and we have this scrumptious meal, I'll show you all my favorites. Uh, they also have something new on the menu. I'm just gonna grab a drink and set in. So this is the Hanami. It's actually my favorite drink here. Uh, it's made of uh, rye whiskey, uh, uzu, which is Japanese citrus, umeshi, Japanese plum, and ginger beer. So it's very simple. It doesn't look simple though, but <laughs> it's really good. I suggest you can enjoy it deep in the cane sugar to balance the crispiness and taste of the duck. Right. So second way of the duck is the breast part. I suggest you can enjoy it wrapped together with a Chinese pancake, hoisin sauce, scallion, and then a cucumber. And this is our Chinese pancake. And also, please to inform you, in between the Chinese pancake, there's a paper inside yeah. that you need to remove. This is the peanut sauce. Guys, you have to watch this, it's just so cool. It's gonna do something like magic. And uh, let's get some. Okay. Doing it now, so we're gonna. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> spin it down, spin it, right? Spin it. Spin it now. Yeah! It's working. Oh. Wow. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so guys, this is like a towel that looks like a coin. They just add water and voila. It's a hot towel. So it, it actually becomes a big tower like this. So guys, this is the, what I'd like to call the signatures of Mont. So we have here, actually everything you see here is from one duck. So first they take the skin and the meat, the, the breast meat, and then uh, some parts you can put the lettuce cup, which you see here, and my favorite, it's like pichon, so it's like fried duck. So first, they always give you the skin, which is the best part in any meal. So here they give you uh, brown sugar to balance the taste. So you're supposed to like put brown sugar, and then never gets old, guys. 
for the duck breast, you get um, one. Guys, I've seen many friends who eat the paper. So when you come here, uh, remove, remove the, make sure you remove the paper. Because I had a guest from LA. She literally ate the paper. So again, uh, you do this. I have to use my hands, so. And then uh, I get some like two pieces and dip them in hoist the hoisin sauce that we were twirling earlier we put them on uh, with some uh, cucumber and scallions and wrap Tarsho all the way from the Spain. It's actually the signatures here you have to order 24 hours in advance. So this is the second signature. This is uh, the Iberico Char Shoe. So it's like Spain and China mixed together. Because the cause the pork's from Spain and it's a Chinese dish. So after you try this, you'll never eat another like kind of char shoe again. It's so good, like, but you have to try it. So you guys know we're doing a giveaway, so just keep watching. Guys, okay, so this, like, everything you see on the table is actually, as I said, like one duck and one burrito, right? So you can actually, sometimes I like to come here and have a, like a good meal with no fuss. I just uh, have uh, this burrito. Like I order like the rice, so actually you can get like you can feed like maybe four to six people with this depending on how uh, but yeah, but in general it's really good, no fuss. But sometimes you know we like the fuss, so I'll show you the fuss later. So this is the no fuss meal. Now the dim sum part of the meal. So actually, they have new stuff that they only serve at lunch: prawns with uh, rice roll with uh, crispy rice, which is my new favorite for dim sum. And then uh, they have the baked, uh, like the baked shopao with uh, iberico char siu. And they also have these dumplings in chili oil, which are very good. But but we always go back to the basics. This is the Truffle quail egg. So if you're wondering, asam a quail egg. So it's actually inside. It's soft boiled. So wait, I'll show you. I actually haven't tried this yet. So let's see if it's good. But everything here is good. So this is cacao. You normally see this in like wherever, like it's shrimp, right? But this is lobster cacao. There's lobster inside instead of shrimp, so I would never say no to lobster. This one, I mentioned guys, one of my favorite here. So it's actually a rice roll. It has shrimp inside, asparagus. Uh, it has a little sauce. Uh, the sauce is like a little sweet and salty. But it has the crunch, I share the rice. Crispies inside. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but right, you have to taste to really go on. So. so the best. Another new thing here is this baked chopao. So it's Iberico inside. I'm gonna break it for you. Okay. So. It's the char shoe we ate earlier, but it's in chopal form now. And I have no doubt. I love it. Okay, so again, I hope the lawai is now. Because you can get a chance to win dinner here, guys. This is, guys, the dumplings in chili oil. So, it's like. Normal dumplings. 
flesh spicy stuff. You like this, guys? Cause like the chili oil is not so strong, but you get a lot of like, like I think not too I think that's from the sesame seeds. That's really good. So guys, this is their one of their premium teas. So it's very good with when you're having dim sum. So it's, this is actually called the Silver Needle. So this is my favorite here. And I recommend this to all my friends who also eat here. So people ask why it's so expensive because uh, it, it's like a, like a super tea. <laughs> it's from white leaves, white tea leaves. And then, because most tea leaves are green. So these are white. And then uh, they're known to boost digestion and uh, stop stomach acidity and stuff like that. So it's very good for having this. And ready yourself for the next course. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is uh, doing the unwanted immune piece of a tea. Long, quite a long process. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. Time. Okay. Yeah, so that's dirty water. You just you're not supposed to drink that first batch. Yeah. So we have to wait fifteen minutes to let it soak up, and then we we'll put it in another glass later. So for it's ready for drink. So that much only makes like. Half a cup, so it's very premium so for a good digestion. Well, guys, we have two soups. So uh, one is uh, like very basic Chinese hot and sour soup. So mod, of course, it's mod style, so it's better than most. But this one. This is my favorite. Uh, get this every time we're here. This is the most premium, premium soups. Like if you say premium, it's premium or premium. So it's called uh, Buddha Jumps Over the Wall. So it's actually a very famous Chinese soup. Uh, what you'll see is that uh, they'll have, uh, these are chopsticks so you can see. So they will have some, uh, they have some fish, fish maw. Which is actually like uh, the gallbladder of the fish, and then uh, they have we have uh, some. Let me search. So we have a big ass mushroom, Chinese mushroom. We have uh, so we have an abalone. We have uh, supposed to be some sea cucumber here. Let me find it. Sorry, guys. We have some red scallops and we have a, we have an abalone and just a mixture of very good and premium seafood. So actually, uh, Mott has different kinds of soup. You can also order like fish mao lang a soup or just double boiled abalone soup. But this one is a combination of everything, so that's why it's premium, premium. Okay, so let's try it. Very good. Actually, the soup is very light. You can really taste the ocean, but not in a bad way. <laughs> Sometimes you, when you say it's, you know, see, it's very, it's a good, it's a good ocean taste. And then uh, scallops. Very good guys. So we're gonna dig in and uh, show you what's next. Okay guys, so this is, uh, you see this abalone? It's as almost big as my hand and I have huge hands. This is a South African abalone. It's uh, 120 grams. And so, you know, abalone is always a it's, a... it's a premium dish, you know, anywhere you go is a premium dish. And in Mott, they have a wide range of abalones. So, remember earlier I told you that the signature dish was the no fuss? This is the fuss, right? So, 
120 grams uh, South African abalone and the next I, wanna, I just want to show you first next we have uh, I'll, I'll leave this one for last okay so this one uh, is actually part of the starters it's uh, it's just whole it's crispy whole abalone it's deep fried with salt and pepper very simple but it's very good this one is what you say the cream of the crop or when I said the soup earlier was premium of premium this is premium of premium of premium <laughs> so uh, this is uh, Japanese abalone it's very small it's only 24 grams but this is more premium than the South African abalone right so uh, you know everything Japanese is always premium guys right you know what I mean but like whiskey sushi whatever even steak yeah, from Airbusagi can Japan gay so same with those with abalone so uh, we'll have a taste uh, taste test on the differences why this is more premium and this is more premium and you know the differences so we're actually cook the same way uh, both the African and the Japanese so uh, we buy us uh, sauce and stuff let's see this is the when you can find the appetizer, uh, it's like bang for your buck if you want abalone. <laughs> you can eat a lot of abalone, this like bang for your buck. It's a good feel, it's, uh, a, little, it's a little tough. Well, since I've like, tried all the other <laughs> all the others, but uh, it's still good. Uh, it's, uh, it comes with like, uh, like mushroom, fried mushrooms. So this is what you get if I like, try it out. Because I recommend when you eat here, you start with this, then move up the ladder. So you get to try the different tastes of the abalone. This is the South African one, South African one, the, ver the, the very big one. That's as big as my hand. So do a cut. Cheers guys. Definitely more premium. Like super good. Like super good, super good abalone. But this one though, uh, you get a taste to tell the difference. So this is the Japanese one, guys. It's only 24 grams. Premium, premium, premium. Just keep repeating premium, but it's true. So we'll get a slice. So this is the best abalone you can get not only in mud but uh, throughout the world I don't know let me it sorry but it's really good guys so again You've been hanging with us. Uh, I hope someone who wins uh, the winner of the mod giveaway will be someone who appreciates good food. We'll give out the mechanics in a bit. We still have so much food for you to show. We have their coming up next is their uh, su spring and summer menu, which is a brand new menu that I haven't tried any of the dishes on that yet. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. But for now, I'm gonna finish this guy, so. Guys, uh, this is very special. So as you can see, this is the only dish for this uh, section. Because we call this the very special off-menu uh, lobster. So this is a whole Australian lobster uh, that's steamed in garlic and vermicelli and with the soy sauce. It's like steam. It's like steam fish, <laughs> but it's lobster. No, but it's 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 uh it's really very good. Because actually, the story of this is when Mont op opened in Cebu around September. Uh, I ate here almost every week, and then uh, I asked the chef and the ma manager back then to tell me like, why don't you like give me something that's new or what can you do in the kitchen that's 
special. So they, they told me that they'll surprise me with something with a lobster. So this is the result. So and every time I come here, I've never failed to order this dish. So this has been created for me. And actually now, we just asked that they're pushing it to the other guests as well. But it's still not on the menu. Uh, you can order this. Uh, it's called the uh, Steam Live Lobster in Vermicelli. But it's also premium, guys. So. I've tried eating this with top six people. So, so here you have the healthy serving of vermicelli. Like you put this on the sauce. Yeah, here. Even this alone, guys, with the rice is so good. Now. And the lobster meat here. See, it's so soft that I used a chopstick. To eat it, no, no fork, no knife, no, yeah. Mm. Very good. So on your next meal here, you gotta try this out. Okay, guys. So this is the spirit. Our next set this is the next set. Oh, we're almost at the end. So our next set is, uh, we call it the spring and summer menu. So it's uh, like a seasonal menu that might be or might not be here in a few months. So first uh, up, we have this beautiful uh, garlic crab with uh, deep fried mantou. And then uh, we have this uh, fresh water shrimps. Uh, with uh, bamboo shoots and ginkgo nut. So I actually researched about ginkgo nut. So, because I was curious. So, actually it's a superfood. It actually, uh, Chinese, uh, like in history, Chinese have used it to treat like uh, virus diseases like, uh, like respiratory or like anything related to the brain. But now in modern times, they generally use it as a like a vitamin, like a daily supplement for like brain health. So I think it'll make you smarter guys, so. And then last we have um, the Angus, beef Angus masala. So it's like string beef and string vegetables uh, with some mushrooms. Uh, so these are just three of the New spring and summer menu. They also have some. Uh, some of the menu they have a whole lobster. Uh, we, we already had a lobster, so these are the ones we picked to try out tonight. So it's gonna be good. So before, like, uh, before we move on, <coughs> I'm just gonna give you a little hint. So in order to join our giveaway, guys, uh, you know the drill. You gotta go to my socials, my YouTube, my Facebook, my Instagram. You know, hit and like the follow, hit and like the follow, subscribe buttons. And then, uh, don't forget, uh, since this is a Mott and Moonstar giveaway partnership, don't forget to go to Instagram and like and follow uh, Mott32 and Moonstar Resort. All right, guys, so don't forget uh, IG pages of Blue Star and Mod 32, and then the usual drill of my socials. And then uh, later on, I'm gonna be asking a question that you have to get right to win. All right, so you gotta enter, and then we're gonna ask a question and then see who gets it right. So if multiple people get it right, we'll do some, you know, you know we always figure out something, All right? So, uh, Dig in. So guys, this is our last, well, before dessert, this is our last bunch. This is actually the main, like, the mains. The mains, this is what you eat at the end of the meal when you're at Mont. So this is actually a personal favorite of mine also. This is uh, the uh, black hut. It's also smoked in applewood. It's the same applewood they use for their picking duck. So you can smell it. it. 
So it comes with the smoke, right? You saw the smoke. So when when they open it, it's, it smells very good. And then this one is their glutinous rice with uh, dried baby shrimp. It has nuts. Uh, it's also very good. And then we have our standard sweet and sour pork, but here it comes with dragon fruit. And then so these are my favorite noodles, guys. These are Shanghai toss Shanghainese noodles. If you look at them, like Moresha Gulai Sagul, it looks very plain. But actually, if you look closer, there's like dried shrimp in there and like a little meat parts, but it's very, very good. Like, I love these noodles. The go-to rice, our uh, crab meat uh, with fish roe. It's absolutely very good. Like, I, I showed, I shared to you the glutinous rice earlier, right? So. For me, it's not really the same. I eat both <laughs> when I come here. So I have a little glutinous, I have a little of this, then we have a little noodles, and then our main course. So uh, that's it for main course, guys. I hope you had fun and you got uh, hungry watching us. So uh, we'll eat for a bit, and then uh, when dessert comes, uh, I'll ask you that question that you need to answer in order to win a free meal here at Ma 32 Cebu. All right, guys. I'm so I'm so full. I can't move now. So, uh, but there's always room for this, right? So we have like uh, chilled mango rolls covered in coconut. So uh, there are actually more desserts coming, but it's not yet available as of now. But they will have some very nice stuff, for which I've tried already during the media lunches. Um, so, guys, just a recap. So you've seen everything we ate, so that's what Mont has to offer. So there's a variety of food for everyone, whatever your dietary restrictions or whatever you want to eat. If you want fast, if you want no fast, it's there. So uh, again, for a chance to win, uh, I'm gonna repeat to you the mechanics. So you know my socials, do them all, and then go to Instagram and like mont 32 Cebu and follow and then uh, New Star Resort all right so those two New Star Resort and Mother de Cebu and post my socials and then uh, I'm gonna ask you this question all right so the question is how many times have I eaten in Mother 32 Cebu all right so <laughs> I mean if you followed my stories you know it's a lot so they opened around September, <clears throat> so that's six months. I'll tell you this is, I'll give you a clue, this is for April, this is my first time eating here. You have to guess in the past six months, how many times have I eaten in Mo32 since they opened, all right? So your answer, you have to hashtag your answer on the comments on my Instagram, all right? Not on, this, not on the YouTube video, but on my Instagram post of this giveaway so example your answer is 30 uh, you gotta do hashtag 30 all right and then tag three friends all right and then uh, share this share the post on your stories all right so tag three friends hashtag your guess of how many times I've eaten here and then uh, we'll pick a winner uh, within the next week and then hopefully you'll be the lucky winner to dine at Mo 32 Cebu guys so uh, I hope you had fun this was a fun experience eating in front of the camera it's kind of weird but you know it, it was fun so I hope you guys had fun uh, see you next time